Hi everyone, this is Shane Station, and today I want to share with you guys a nice tool that I've been working on for the past few months actually. As you know, inventory management in the division isn't really great and most players resort to storing their spare pieces of gear on alternate characters they create. This is all fine and dandy for general storage, but when it comes to getting your gear together to create builds, it can be a downright chore logging in and out of characters and getting your gear pieces together, only to find out that the build isn't really going to work or that you've gotten the stats on the gears wrong. I tried looking online um, back when I started on this, but I wasn't able to find any inventory planning sheet. So I decided to make my own, and what was initially just a simple gear planning sheet actually um, developed over time to what I feel is quite a useful tool for most um, gamers or most players of the division. So this is how the tool looks like. You can find the link to this tool in the video description below. Just make sure you save a copy of this sheet to your own computer before you make any changes to it. Once you've entered all your gear, the sheet will help calculate all the different in-game stats for you. Like your firearms, your health, your mitigation. We also count your toughness versus elites versus exotic. Um, skill bonuses, what your skill value is. Pretty useful. So how do you use this too? The first thing you probably want to do is to put your gear into the database. So they are all um, sorted by gear slots below. For example, all my holsters are found here. It's pretty e easy to input a holster. You just choose the gear set, in this case it's my tactician. You enter the armor value, the armor value that's actually displayed in game. Like it could be 5, 6, 8. And once you've entered that, the game will, the sheet will actually generate. Whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry. Yeah. Once you actually put it in, the sheet is going to generate a name for the item based on the item name and the armor value. You input the stats, let's say they're all 670, 670, 670. You choose the major attributes. Let's say skill hit 8, hit percent, and pulse. 8.5 and you put in the gear score value. Now over here you can just note whether you have recalibrated the two or not. That's up to you. I like putting it there so when I plan builds I know that I can recalibrate something or not. And once you have put it in, if you go to the build page, you should be able to find the holster you just entered in here. And once you drop it in, it'll input all the stats that you put in. So once you have placed all your information into the database, it's quite easy to get a build going. So in this case, I guess I will try to make a reclaimer's build. I want to support reclaimer's build, so I'm going to choose my tactician's mask, my reclaimer's vest, this, this one, um, a reclaimer pack, I only have gloves, uh, a holster, I think I'll get a reclaimer's holster for this. It's not the best holster, but uh, it works. And so, so once I'm done, I'm also going to have to put in the mods that I want to use with my build. The mods are entered the same way. You go to your mod page and you put them in, and you generate the name via stats and everything else. So mods would be stamina skill power. That's pretty much the thing I have. I'm going to put some of these things in, so for more skill power mods. And maybe more fire power. So I can see once I put this in, uh, actually I do need a bit more armor to get the mitigation going. It's a bit too low, so I'm going to change this and look for something with armor on it. There we go. And that allows me to plan my build to make sure that my mitigation is maxed out. My skill power is about 50k, but how does that translate to an actual build? 
all these skills, skill bonuses here are going to change the amount of skill power you need to max out your skills. So, what this does is it actually calculates for you what your skill value is. So you can see I'm at 50k, I'm already capped out on haste. My critical hit damage is not capped out, I need actually about a few hundred more points before I can cap it out at 100%, but this is fine, 99% is pretty good. You can see the rest of your skills, it tells you whether the cooldown is maxed out or not. And all the values will be shown down here. It also calculates all, to helps you to total all the weapon damage and any bonuses that you might get from your build. It can be found on the left over here. So next up we have our build damage comparison tab over here. What this tab does is it allows you to estimate your build's um, capabilities in terms of damage. So um, if you are familiar with Breezy PZ, the YouTuber's um, page, this format is actually taken from his damage sheet. Some of the formulas are similar. Uh, I modified them a little to actually draw information from the separate build. So props to Breezy for this very neat format that he has came up with. So in order to actually compare the two builds, um, in this case I'm going to compare a Lone Star Striker support build with a 4-piece tactician and final measure build. What we can do is we can choose certain stock weapons like an M60 and perhaps an L86. Now these values here, the reason why I say they are stock values is because they are taken from the division gear attribute page. The M60 you can see the maximum damage is 5,382 5, and the maximum out of cover damage is 29% and I assume all these values are maxed out uh, for these calculations here. So once we have put in the weapons, you can clearly see that the DPS, this is a rough DPS based on your weapon mods, on whether pulse is active or not, on your headshot accuracy and on whether one it's none is active or not. That will change the DPS values a little, I think. Let's see, from this to this, the DPS value will change. The magazine calculation is taken from skill ups, um, weapons, weapon DPS calculation page. Those are all the work's been done by them. I'm just using their formulas so really thank you for all the information they've been providing to the community. Let's see and once you're done you can see the first build obviously the Lone Star Striker build is going to do quite a bit more damage than uh, just a base uh, exotic tactician build over here. Now the other thing you can do is you can actually input your own custom weapons because sometimes you might find a weapon and you're not sure is this weapon better than this other weapon I've received. So this is pretty simple. You can just go to your game. I'm just going to pop back into the game. What we're going to do is we want to compare um, actual in-game weapons to see which weapon is going to benefit your build greater. Because sometimes the base damage could be different from just stock weapons. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this portion here, the custom weapons. We're going to define some custom weapons that we have and that's going to allow us to compare them in the build, within the build itself. So over here I have two custom weapons in. But the problem with the in-game damage is that this 9565 is actually been modified by your firearms. So, in order to find out what the actual base value before the modifications is, I just need to make sure I know what my LMG damage bonus is. Take note of the damage, which is 9565, and also my out of cover percentage, which is 22%. And then I'm going to use this later on to find out the base damage. 65, I come over here. Damage value for an M60 is... 9565 my firearms value is 3588 and it will tell me that the approximate base damage is 
5,115. This is not too bad a roll, it's the 80th percentile, the maximum possible damage I could have rolled. On the 229, it's 5,300. So 5,118. Or 5,115. So you see, I've already input it earlier. Uh, the weapon bonus, this is the out of cover bonus that it has. Depending on whether it's an LMG or an assault rifle or crit, you just need to put in the value here. So this 22% corresponds to the 22% over here. Okay. So back to this. It has headshot value and enemy armor damage because the weapon that I have has both destructive and brutal. So I'll put them in here. And I'm going to compare it with an L86 which I found that didn't have brutal but it has um, deadly and destructive instead. So once I've put in these two weapons, all I need is to find them over here. All your custom weapons are going to start with a test. So I just need to type test 1, black market, and test 2, L86. And now it's going to use the values inputted up here and it's going to compare the two weapons. So you can see even though my L86 does not have Brutal, it's still going to offer my build more damage. Um, at, at least on paper, it's going to provide my build with more damage. But of course, you must remember that this is just an estimation. It doesn't really take into consideration your accuracy, how the weapon handles, whether you like using the weapon or not. As you can see in my videos, I, I even though the L86 does more damage, uh, on paper, I actually much prefer the M60 and the way it handles, allowing me to chain like, like, literally hundreds of headshots in a row. So I've come to the end of my video. If you like what you've seen or what I've shared, please drop me a like or subscribe at the bottom of my YouTube page. Once again, this is Shane Station signing off. But with no need to reload, I can just shoot into it.